So I didn't have any real preconceived ideas how social media could help me in a pub trade, because obviously I'm new to the pub trade. Um, I was aware of social media because I'm on Facebook myself, and but I'm not a poster, if that makes sense. I'm a watcher. Um, but now, um, six months into my journey in this pub, I'm a poster because I have to be. I ha no, if I don't get that message out about what this pub's doing and how it's progressing and getting better, then nobody's going to do that for me in terms of, um, you know, it doesn't matter what, what I tell, be get better connected. If I don't tell them, they're not going to know and they're not going to be able to help me. So my whole um, outlook on particularly Facebook, but social media in general, is I've, I've turned from a watcher into a poster or a doer or whatever the term is. Uh, and that's the major change for me since I've taken a pub on. Because, you know, if you don't do it, you will stand still and nobody's ever going to know what you're trying to do. And I think I've got a great story to tell. Never worked in a pub before. In at the deep end, something me and my wife always wanted to do. Um, am I enjoying what I'm doing six months down the road? You bet your life I am. Is it hard work? Definitely. But it's made that much easier by having um, not just social media. There are other aspects to the, to the pub trade where you get support. But one of the major supports you need and must use is the social media aspect. Because it will get the message out about your pub. Even if it's to tell them you've got a new cider in, or you've just been awarded cast mark, or you've got Guinness approval, all those little things all build and make that story about what a good pub you run and what a good pub it is for people to come to. Social media for you.